So the, the Bible's full of references to angels. Well, we saw in the first reading in Exodus that the angels were, 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 were guiding the Israelites as they went into the promised lands. And you can go all the way through the Bible to Revelations where the, where the angels are in heaven are bowing down and praising our Lord Jesus Christ and Mary. We see, we see them throughout, throughout the Bible, and especially, of course, the greatest of all angels who visits Mary and uh, announces to her that she'll be the mother of our Lord, the mother of Jesus and the mother of God, by the archangel Gabriel. So we see all these references uh, through angels. And, and, in, and, and specifically in today's gospel, Jesus tells us that there are angels in heaven watching over the children. And he's not going to lie to us. He's not going to tell us or tell the disciples that something that, that's not true. There are angels, and there are angels ever watching over us. Because God knew that it's going to be hard for us to live the lives following God. It's, it's not an easy thing to be a Christian. It's not an to, easy thing to, to follow in the, steps, the footsteps of Jesus. So he gave us a lot of these tools to help us. He gave us the Holy Spirit who, who helps us make uh, right and wrong decisions. He gave us the church, of course, to come to, and Mary to comfort us and to be with us. He gave us the Eucharist so that we could carry Jesus in us all day long. And he gave us reconciliation to wipe away our sins. And of course, today, as we celebrate the memorial of the, of the angels, he gives us the, our guardian angel in order for us to be to have somebody with us all the time on this road, on this journey to heaven. Now, I was never quite a huge believer in guardian angels. I always believed in angels. And um, um, of course, I wasn't Catholic, my wife was, and, and she brought me into the church. She brought me to know, to know Jesus and God. And, and, and so I, you know, the angels were fine. They were up there somewhere in heaven. And uh, I, I really didn't get, get really didn't get uh, into guardian angels until she, she experienced a situation. And um, when I got into upper management, uh, we moved here to, to Dallas, and I was traveling all the time. And we had this big house, big big new house, and and she had to sleep there at night by herself while I was out doing what I did in in the country. And um, and she was scared. She was afraid because this big house is brand new. And, um, and she had a hard time going to sleep until one night her guardian angel appeared to her and said, Terry, <laughs> don't be afraid. Close your eyes and go to sleep. And she did. And from then on, she was able to go, go to sleep ever since. And, and, and uh, of course, I, I foo pooed that, you know, I said, ah, that's just a, you dreamed that or, you know, you imagined it because you really needed it or something like that. But, but, but she believed in it and she got me to believe too that we do have our guardian angels. It's told to us in the Bible and, and they are there to comfort us and guide us and be with us on this, on this journey. Um, so, so, Today, we have this, this incredible, wonderful opportunity to thank our guardian angel, to remember our guardian angels, because it's, it's kind of hard to do that. But we should, we, should, we should remember our guardian angels every day. We should ask them to be with us every day and to, and to guide us and to help us through this journey that's, that's really hard. And if we do that, they will.